We'll never pull it off. I say we'll wait. Yeah, another squadron in the East End is undoubtedly a good idea, but I don't think the budget would stand it. All units, silent alarm. Southwest corner, 8th and Dean. Mark it. 1-1, one, one, William 2, handle call. Acknowledge. It's the third market in a month. We may have to start staking them out. 8th and Dean, that's only a couple of blocks from Johnny's house. Maybe he's still there. Look, why don't you and Chris get on this? Take a mug pile with you. Maybe you'll have better luck than last time. Right, Matt. Now, I'll call Lieutenant Russo's house. If he's there, tell him to take in this call. Right, Captain. Marlene, give me Lieutenant Russo. Hello, Russo. Nielsen's Market, that's where... Tell Captain Holbrook I'll shoot right over. Who's that, honey? It's just routine, honey. It's uh, something I have to check out downtown. Take the alley okay, side. Okay, Lieutenant. You trying to wear out the floor? I wish that manager would hurry up. He hasn't got a key. Keep an eye on him. Cops out front. Any way out of this place? Soli, I gotta look at his face. Soli? He's got my Pete in there with him. And one of the girls from the store. Uh, uh. Uh. He's mad. 
He hit me without any reason. Chris, get an ambulance. Right. It is further recommended that inasmuch as there has been a decrease in crime in the Warren Street area, three mobile units be moved to that vicinity. Yeah. Lieutenant Lindstrom's on the phone, Captain. He says it's urgent. Right. Yes, Otto? Matt, we're at the market. There are two of them holed up in the meat locker, and they got Burton. Do you know who they are? One of them's Ed Soley. And Matt, they've got two hostages, a girl clerk and Pete Russo. Pete? Yeah, he works here on weekends. Is Johnny there? Yeah, he's here, and he's pretty shook up. I'll be right over. Have my car sent around on the double. I told Smythe to put a 32 on the car radio. Matt should be here any minute now. You need a doctor? I need my kid out of there! Take it easy, Johnny. Now, Dad, you hear me? Out there, you hear me? What do you want, Soli? <laughs> you know me, huh? It's swell. Listen, I got two tickets in here good for a free ride out of town. I want a car with a full tank of gas parked at the curb. No can do on my own, Soli. I'll have to have the approval of Captain Holbrook. My kid's in there. Don't pull a book on me now, Otto. How long is that going to take? Well, that'll take a good half hour. Ah, uh, no, sir. 20 minutes. Not 21, not 22. Exactly 20. Nine o'clock sharp. Nine o'clock sharp. If we don't get out of here on schedule, I'm going to tear up those tickets. I'll get the car and bring it around. No, Johnny. You promised him. I made no such promise. That's a decision for Matt to make. Otto, that's my son he's got in there. So he's a killer. A sadistic killer. Exactly. That's why we're not going to let him leave here with your son and that girl. Matt, you don't understand. I understand perfectly. Otto's already filled me in. Otto, get the emergency squad down here for standby. He gave us a deadline, Matt, 9 o'clock. Johnny, the only way we let Soli out is with his hands high in the air. Soli, listen to me. You listening? Yeah. This is Russo, you filthy crumb. You heard my son and I... Johnny! That wasn't very smart. Cops, kid. <laughs> Cops, kid! Sully, uh, I'm hurt bad. I, I gotta have help. Oh, my lord. We got a real ticket now. Not just a maybe. But it's one of their own. It's no funny business. Hey, Russo. It's your turn to listen now. I want a clear field coming out of here. You hear me, Russo? Clearfield, where you can kiss goodbye to this kid of yours. <laughs> I'm kind of scared!